Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at the smallest Nexus Viper they have to offer for 2021. This is the 2021 Nexus Viper Model 25V with the new Ford V8 engine. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you the true unbiased reviews about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at the all new 2021 Nexus Viper. Now you guys might be looking at this saying, hey Matt, didn't you review one of these yet? No, we haven't. We've done a 27V and a 29V. This one's a 25. It's the smallest one they have to offer. This is one of the smallest slash most luxurious motorhomes out there. But before we begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hi everybody. Hey Andrea, how's it going? It's going good. I want to update you guys. Uh -huh. um, next week, Una graduates puppy school. Oh. So on Wednesday's video of next week, we will have a picture of her with her little graduation cap and her little certificate. Is she the alma mater or whatever? Not alma mater. Um. Um, Valor Victorian? Yes. Yes. <laughs> She's the leader of the class. And real quick, Andrea, before we begin, today is um, July 15th, and I've been on the diet for one month. So here's where I am today, and here's where it is, bing, when we started the job, when we, <laughs> when I started the diet on um, June 15th. You look great, babe. Thanks. You're doing a great job. We're continuing going. All right, let's begin. Model is 25V, but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 24 feet 8 inches. This is the Nexus Viper. It's their high end class C motorhome. One of my big pet peeves with Nexus is they call this a B plus and it's really annoying. Here's why. The reason why they call it a B plus is because it doesn't have the bunk over the cab. It's that smooth profile, but it's on a cutaway chassis and anything on a cutaway chassis is a class C. And my problem with it is when you look on our inventory, these don't show up under the class C's. They show up under the B pluses because that's how they registered it. And it's just really annoying. I don't like that. It's a class C. Uh, it is powered on the E350 chassis with the new 7.3 liter Godzilla, it's Godzilla! Uh, engine. 350 horsepower, 460 foot pounds of torque. Right here, we do have the tires. Look at them, Andrea. They're the Dynapro LT225 75 R16. I don't know what rims they are, but they're awfully shiny today. And then check this out you do have side cameras, left side, right side, and reverse. What I do love about the Nexus Viper is the full body paint, it looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, they have it in this red paint scheme and the blue paint scheme right here. Bing! I think both look fantastic. And, you know, what I do like that there is no bunk over the cab because not everybody wants that. And it's a uh, seamless fiberglass cap up there. Coming down the side here, we have a nice power awning with LED lights. And that goes the whole length. That's great. Yeah, full length of the awning. Oh, man, look at that. That's fast. Well, it's her favorite awning too. Oh, I know, and I see fast. it. It's gray. Literally, I don't know why. You wanna know what's funny? Slow awnings grind my gears. Oh, okay? I know. Like when they take forever. That was nice. I love the pattern and the texture. Here's your water heater. Because this is a Nexus motorhome, what I love about Nexus is the quality and construction. So what they're doing is they use a steel cage construction uh, high strength, low alloy steel where everybody else is using aluminum. It's 72% stronger and 72% safer. Also, they use the Asdale sidewall composites, which is a green based material that will never delaminate on you. Right, here's your propane tank. I don't know the tank size, but Andrea, we'll have all the tank sizes about this motorhome. Lengths, widths, everything down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody to watch on television. And then right here's your water heater. Right here, we do have a plug on the outside. All right. We got a little bit of storage out here. Okay. Oh, nice. Look at that. That's new. 
this chain to keep it up. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> oh, okay. no chain right here. Oh, look. What's that? Oh, pass through. Nice. Nice pass through storage. Coming around the back, you can see you have a nice rear fiberglass cap. I love that. I've always loved their rear rear tail rear taillight tail light design. It looks very Art Deco. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I don't know if it looks retro or whatever. It does look nice. Oh, dang, go on it. No ladder for the back. Uh-oh. It does have a one-piece fiberglass roof, which I'm a huge fan of. Also, you have a 7,500 pound hitch. Now, this motorhome can't tow that. You can tow 5,000 pounds, maybe a little bit more, depending on how you load it up. And yeah, you got a backup camera right there. Coming around the driver's side, here's your city water fill. Right there, you can see you have your Magnum inverter, your pure sine lane inverter, and your 30 amp power cord. Right here, you have an outdoor shower. I love that, and I love how they continued the paint. And then right there, it is prepped for solar, I think. Or is that cable? That was a cable. 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 <laughs> Over here, we got a little bit more storage. Notice how the um, heat, the, the valves for the black tank are enclosed. I love that. And that's where you dump your black and gray tank. Right here's your fuel fill up. Oh, look at this. I didn't even notice this. Oh. Dang on it. It's too slippery. Is it locked? Hang not... on it. I want to see what's in there. Is that supposed to be storage? Because even... the refrigerator is not right there. So yeah, no, it's going to be storage. We, we should be able to see it from the inside. Okay. Um, but but even still, I mean, look at that. I mean, I can't lock that, right? Right here, there's where your battery is, and then right here is going to be your generator. It is a Cummins Onan 4000 generator. Well, Andrea. The outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. So you got some pep in your step. Okay. We need to get the cargo carrying capacity. Oh yeah, we've been forgetting that last couple of I years. Know. Oh, it's not right there. It's probably gonna be on the door. Wow. Nice. Okay guys, the slide is in as you can see. And I have plenty of walkway to get to the bathroom. And we have a fold up bed. Great. Now while the slide outs are coming out, let us know if you could do us a favor. Leave down in the comments, let us know three things you love about this motorhome and three things you, do, uh, you don't like about this motorhome. Nexus is a big fan of our show and they're making improvements every day to their product based off of you, the RV Review Crew. Uh, Dave Middleton and Claude Donati are the owners, and uh, David's the regional rep, and they all watch the show. They love hearing everybody's feedback, and it helps promote us on YouTube. So thank you so much. Thank you, guys. We have the best RV Review Crew, babe. Yeah, we do. I can't find the cargo carrying capacity sticker. Is it on the passenger? No, I checked that door as well. Dang, nabbit. Okay, so remember when you do the video we'll to maybe it. type it in the details. Well, we gotta find it first. All right, so check this out. Look at this, Andrea. Look at that screen. Oh, I love it. You have your screen right there. You got your left camera, right camera, and reverse. It's the new 7.3 liter. Look at this. It's just a modern steering wheel. I like the dash. Very easy, very nice to drive. And what I will say, what, what is nice about it being the B+, plus, well, it's really a Class C, but you don't have that bunk over the cab, and I love that. And then, you know, you got your camera, left side, right side, and reverse. And these seats are very comfortable. Andrea, you want to sit in my co-captain seat? Yes. Very nice. I and, like it. Yeah, and there's a lot of space because there's nothing behind her seat. Yeah. So you can recline it back oh, some. Oh, I can take a nap. Oh, yeah, while we're driving down the road. I like it. And Cru you know what? I uh -huh. got a lot of space. Yep, yep, very nice. Cruising to see America. And it does look like the seat does swivel to come part of the nice. living area. I uh, like that it doesn't have that big dip right there. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, for sure. All right. Now above is an entertainment center. You got a little bit of storage right here. And yeah, you got your TV right here, which... All right.
or anything. Go lower. Okay. See what's going on there. So you can see that it's across from the theater seats. I love the theater seats, by the way. Nobody in this size is using theater seats, which surprises me because I think it's great. You know, that's part of the reason why we decided on our motorhome that we're getting is because of theater seats. And well, I love and, that. A, and a lot of our RV re, re, review crew has commented about that, put theater seats in. So yep. it looks like Nexus listened. Yep, people love it. Well, no, Nexus has been doing it in this product for forever. Um, it's just, we just haven't had one at the dealership. Over here in the living room, I almost forgot. And I'm, I'm so glad they did this. Actually, it's really funny that they did this. You know, you know what one of my dislikes might be? I, I have to look at the, the sticker on the side. It's the full body paint. And they put like a white sticker that says Asdale. And you know, I feel like they should have put like a clear transparent sticker, but this gets the job done as well. And you don't need to mess up the paint job, but it just tells you not only does um, Nexus put Asdale on the outside walls, they also put it on the inside walls so it won't have that formaldehyde smell. Also, the AC is full metal ducting throughout all their Nexus products. Right here, we got nice hidden hinge cabinetry. Okay. Oh. I actually like the color of the cabinets. Oh yeah. Oh, very nice. It goes all the way back. Oh my God. Is it comfortable? I mean, and believe it or not, I, I'm fine with the TV placement. I like how it does that swivel out thing and it's really really nice that's awesome very comfortable and over here matt looks like you have like a little yeah. table and maybe that's yeah and it's hidden hinge cabinetry wow yep very cool and then uh, uh yep over there well andrea it's now time for the msrp <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome here is $128,934 MSRP. Oh, full body paint folks, that ain't cheap. Sale price, this is a 2021, so we have to follow certain rules and guidelines. Sale price, we have it 27% off to 93995 Wow. That is an okay price. But Andrea, because it's current model year, we can't advertise our absolute lowest price. But if you're interested in this model and you're looking to buy it, I can get you an even better price than that. Andrea, tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Or check out our website, mattsrvreviews.com, where you can get an official Matt's RV Review sticker. Also, there's a contact me page on the website. Andrea, let's continue the video. I like the flooring in here, everyone. The flooring looks great. Actually, here's what I will say, Andrea. Um, Nexus, we've never been a real big fan of the interior design. True. Uh, I mean, they stepped up their game. They sure did. Uh, look, I still, still don't like that, right? Like, come on, you know, but it, it, the, it does look a lot better. It's good progression. I like it. Absolutely. All right, guys. Here we start in the kitchen. I like the color of the cabinetry. You got adjustable shelf. Uh-huh. Uh, I like having a window here. Yes, ma'am. Like we have little mini blinds. Very nice. Okay, so we got the sink here. Uh-huh. Little, little sink. Little sink. The extension. What's this? The lily pad of Is that power. the lily pad? The lily pad of power. Yay. So we have the tower of power and the lily pad of power. And then we got it cabinet under here wow that's very weird very small very small but the doors are so big um i i'm i'm wishing there was more counter space yeah yeah it's i think i think there could have been an extension An andrea right that's a womp 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 womp, womp, womp for womp. sure <laughs> um three burner cooktop uh-huh glass cover but at the same time you know we're womp womping it but at the same time i mean Look at the fridge. Show the fridge real quick. Well, yes, you do get a. I mean, you get a huge a fridge in a small motorhome, yes. and that's taken away from your countertop space. Not a residential, is it? It is. Oh, it is a residential. Yeah, it's huge okay. and nice. And it's purple. Yeah. Okay. So you know, it's it's give and take when you're under 25 feet. And we have a microwave convection oven. Oh, 
Andrea. They listened. Convection oven. They listened. They weren't doing that. Nope, that was I our remember. dislike on I the. Remember. Oh my god, that's awesome. Underneath the oven, we got the cupboard here, cabinets. Uh huh. Over here. Let's did you do the stove top? I did. Nice. I did. Okay, so over here it looks like we're gonna have your pantry, pantry slash wardrobe. Adjustable shelves. I like that. Got a drawer here and nice. look, another drawer here. Nice. Now open this one. This one might open up to the up. Uh, no. So that's storage on the outside. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit of storage. Yeah. Then and you got a drawer right there. You got a drawer here and another uh -huh. one here. That's yep. that's great. Also, you have a privacy curtain here. For the bedroom? In the bedroom. Yep. Well, I mean, it's kind of silly to have the privacy bed curtain because they got to use the bathroom. They're still coming in. It would have been better if the privacy curtain went from here, you know. But what do I know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, in the bedroom area, you got to fold up back at the end. Uh, the mattress is really low. This is, this can be a really great selling point is for this somebody. A, this is a queen. Yeah, but notice how low, look. Here, give me the camera. I mean, look, stand up to the mattress. I mean, it's to your kneecaps. Right. So it's lower, so it might be easier for people to climb in it. I like the window there. We got your little lights right there. More cabinetry above. And I like how it already has a TV in it. I'm going to comment. Talk to me. You guys. I actually like these balances. What? Yeah. Good job, Nexus. Yes. Hey, Nexus went from worst to first on <laughs> interior decline or uh, de interior decor. Looks uh -huh. good. So and beautiful. the lights are cute. Very. Look, hey, total paradigm shift right there, huh? <laughs> uh, I like that there's a TV in here. Yep. And you do have an opening up there for a fan. And then look at this. No heat ducts on the floor. Neither. That's great. And this controls your lights. Yep. Your thermostat. All right, let's see this right. bathroom. Here, moment of truth. And what do we got on the bathroom door? Anything? Oh, a pocket door. Okay, there's a pocket door here. Pretty small bathroom. It is very small. Not okay. Yeah, see this walkway, everyone? It's yeah, very It's very small. small. The shower's good. It, You know, this is a smaller motorhome, Matt. You have to remember that. Yeah. Nice shower. But you look it's like a, you're, it's tight in there for yeah, you. Yeah, it's tight. I mean. Got a, a fan up there, everyone. I mean, see, I don't like this. I'm liking the balances. Balances look good. Why don't you Got show? a window. Okay, so here we have a medicine cabinet. If you guys can see. Yep. Three shelves. I know it's small in here, but I do like there's counter space. Cute little sink. You have three drawers. Mm -hmm. That's cute. Reminds me of my, my dresser's at home. Yeah. You got a cabinet under here. Let's see, Matt. All right. I, I, I don't know if you're going to like that. Time for the toilet. Toilet. Test. It is porcelain. porcelain. I mean, look, look at this. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Are your feet? Let me see. Wah, wah. No, touch the this ground. sucks. This sucks. I mean, I'm not trying to say it, but it sucks. And it's just like they did such a good job with the rest of this motorhome. But I mean, you're not hitting anything. Right, you know. right. It's just, it's not for me. But, I mean, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. What should we do first? Let's do three things we love about it. Okay, first, I'm going to say, and you know what? Here's what I'm going to say. I love how big and spacious it is. They definitely took away from the kitchen and the bathroom. But I mean, to have a 24 foot motorhome like this, where you can do a recliner like this, and there's still plenty of walkway, I actually really do like that, you know? And that's what's so great about RVs. It's kind of like, what's more important? The living area or the kitchen and bathroom? Some people it's the kitchen and bathroom and they'll have a smaller living area, vice versa. So that's one thing I really do love about this motorhome. Two, Andrea. Well, I said it earlier. Say it again. I think they Pre did a, Testify. I think they did a great job on the balances. Yep. And the cabinetry. I'm just really like, wow, you know? Yeah. I mean, they've come they've come along. And come. yes, the cabinets, I do like the color of the cabinets. They've come a long yes. way <laughs> with balances, my friends. 
The interior decor looks great. Just take this emblem away. Ah. Okay, so that's two things I love about it. And three, here's what I will say. This fridge is a small motor home. I know. Oh, also, we didn't mention this. Crap. This has auto stabilizing jacks on the back, on the outside. Totally forgot to mention that. But I love, love, love how big this fridge is. Yes. Nice residential fridge in a small motor home like this. And that does run off your inverter, everybody. Yep. Now it's time, Andrea. That's three things we like about it. Now it's time for three things we dislike about this motor home. Bum, bum, bum. Um, no, not yet. Don't raise your hand. I want to go. I want to go. <laughs> not yet. Okay. I got two, but I think one of yours is one of mine. But I feel like there was something on the outside. Well, yes, there was. Well, let's finish up in here first. Okay. You want to go first? Yes. So I am going to say the lack of counter space. The size of the kitchen. It's, that was mine. It's a very big deal. Okay? Yep. I think that it would have been great just to have an extension here. Yep. And I got What is blocking the door then? Well, I mean, it, it is what it is. And I've seen, them do, I've seen well, it done before. And here's something else that makes me mad. These big doors, and that's the only storage. I don't like that. You know, I don't like the little sink. Give props where props is due. I love the big convection oven. If it was a little bit deeper, right. I think it wouldn't be it wouldn't be too bad. I love the big convection oven. Yes. They didn't have a convection they oven. Did, they, they did do something great so, there so, with, the, with the convection microwave and the yeah, refrigerator. But it's yeah, it's small. So that's one. Number two. God bless you. Thank you. Same thing with the bathroom. Very small bathroom. Not a fan. Um it's tight walkway, tight to get in the shower. If you're bigger than me, you're gonna have some issues. Let me see if I can get in there. And if, well, of course you well, can. Well, let me just see if I'm. If, if it's but even still, me, I mean, you're, then, you're. Look, I mean, even still, you got to maneuver. You know. I mean, I think it's okay, but you know, it, it is. It is a small fit. The shower's okay for me, but yeah, this. I mean, here but you even just, have to turn sideways. Yeah, and, it's almost like I'm in an airplane. <laughs> yeah. No, it's almost like an airplane yeah. bathroom. But I do get why they did it. This is a smaller motor home. Well, and you get the bigger living area. Exactly. So it's always give and take. Give and take with motor homes. It's just for me personally, you know, you know, part, part of the big decision for why we bought our motor home is uh, because of the big shower. So that's important to me personally. And then number three dislike about this motor home. I don't like the connection. I don't like that inverter right there like that. I don't like the water hookup and everything. Yes, that, that's been a thing that we have always disliked. Yep. But but other than that, I, I do want to add one more thing to the like, just because it's a Nexus. Uh, their customer service and support is hands down second to none. If you go on Nexus's YouTube channel, I'll link that down in the comments below. Um, Dave Middleton and Claude Donati are the ones who run their YouTube channel, and they're the owners. And they give out their personal cell numbers. Uh, on their YouTube channel and I absolutely love that and that just says a lot about the company so big props to that but that's it that's the review thank you so much for watching if you have any questions about this motorhome please call me text me send me an email it is Matt's RV reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 or check out the website Matt's RV reviews dot com where there is you can get an official Matt's RV review sticker Bing. also there's a contact me page also, down in the description below, uh, there's a link to General RV where you can see all in stock Nexus Vipers. So if you're interested in it, you know, check out our inventory online, but make sure you call me ahead of time. Um, don't click get lows, well, you can do that, but if you wanna work with me, make sure you just call me directly. Andre, do you think, have, you have anything you wanna say? <laughs> yes. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. As you just heard, Matt, Nexus does watch our channel and read our comments. So we appreciate everything, everything that you guys have to say. Also, I hope you guys are doing well and you guys are staying safe. Awesome. Thanks so much, Andrea. Andrea, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.